On page 343, there's an example problem for percentage composition, and it says sodium hydrogen carbonate, also called baking soda, is an active ingredient in some acids used for the relief of indigestion. Determine the percentage composition of sodium hydrogen carbonate. And they want to know what is the percent composition. So for percentage compositions, by definition, it is the percentage by mass of each element that makes up the compound. So the first thing you have to recognize is which elements are making up the compound. So you've got the percent of sodium, the percent that's hydrogen, there's a percent that's carbon, and then there's a certain percent that's oxygen. So however many elements there are, that's how many percentages you have to find. And then you've got to know the percentage is the part divided by the whole thing times 100. So the very first thing you do is you get your periodic chart out and you add up and find the molar mass. So I've got one sodium. One sodium is 22.99 plus one hydrogen is 1.01 .01, plus one carbon is 12.01 plus three oxygen at 16 each gives us a molar mass of 84.01. So the total is 84.01 grams. And so to find the percentage, it's just this hard. I take the part that's sodium. There's one sodium. If there were two, I would add them both up, but there isn't, there's just one. So the mass of sodium, 22.99 grams, divided by the whole thing, 84.01 grams times 100. The grams cancel out, because this is a percentage. So I take 22.99, I divide it by 84.01, I multiply by 100, I round to four significant digits. Four, yeah, we got that? 27.37. I do the same thing for every single one. So now I have the hydrogen, the part that's hydrogen, there's just one hydrogen. That's how I added them all up in the first place. So the mass of the hydrogen is 1.01 grams, divided by the whole thing, multiplied by 100. In this case, I can only keep three significant digits because 1.01 only has three significant digits. And the only reason that's important is when I'm at the end and I wanna add them all up, I want them to add up to be 100. And the more significant digits I'm able to retain, the better off I'm going to be. So 1.2% by mass, that's it. Baking soda is only 1.2% by mass. Moving on to the carbon, there's only one carbon. 12.01 grams divided by the whole thing times 100. 12.01 divided by 84.01 times 100. I can keep four this time, 14.30. And now if I wanted to, if I was really confident in my math, I could add these up and do what? Subtract from 100 to get the oxygen, but I'm not that confident in my math. So I'm gonna take the oxygen. This is where you have to pay attention. It's not just 16, there are three of them. So you take three times 16, this is your 48. That's the mass of the oxygen in the compound divided by the whole thing. Get to keep three significant or four significant digits again. 57.14. And then to check your answers, add them up. And it should be 100. That's the whole thing. So 57.14 plus 14.3, plus 1.2, plus 27.37, 100.01. And that's because of my rounding, but I probably did it right. The reason for this is actually economical. The reason that we figure stuff out like this, if you were in manufacturing and you were trying to mine something, you're not gonna mine baking soda, but if there were different kind of ores and you could figure out the percentage in each one of those ores that is always made the same way, you would know which one is going to give you more by mass of whatever it is that you're trying to mine. 
So that's one way that this is actually an economical thing and they actually use this in industry. It's called a percent composition and there'll be one like this on the test. Do you have any questions? There's some for you to track for homework tonight. It's listed over there. If you get it done, you can check the big book of answers.